First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved in these last days. Right, this is going to be straight to the point. We are calling this to be soldiers, so we have to be remain soldiers for Yahweh Shai. Okay. We're going to start on 1 Timothy. We're going to jump straight to verse chapter 2. Though therefore my son be strong in the grace. Grace through the new covenant. Without the new covenant, you have no grace. Without Yahweh Shai, you have no grace. So the grace is through Yahweh Shai. Through having faith in Yahweh Shai. That's what I, I've got to keep on saying this because it, it's all down to faith. Because you have men, they know the prophecies, but they don't have no faith <laughs> in Yahweh Shai. So be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And the things that has heard of among heard of me among many witnesses. Because you have many that listen. The same commit to faithful men. So this word, who do you want to be committing it to? Other faithful men that believe. Right? That may join you, but then they get built up where they can go out, they can teach. They can teach other men faith. Right? And that's what's supposed to be raising up. You have a try. He's raising up. Yes, followers. Because of course we follow. And to every good teacher. That means you have to be a good listener. So everybody that achieves something in this life. Even in the world. They had a trainer. They had someone that showed them. Okay. But then there becomes a time where. You've got to take that initiative. And take that leap of faith. Okay. The same commit to faithful men who shall be able to teach others. Okay. Also, so those that are going to take, like in alphabetics, take the baton and run with it. Excuse me. Still fighting these affirmities. Though thou endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shamashak, we've been called as soldiers. Let's continue to endure this hardness as good soldiers. All right. And when you go into that word soldier, on the online ephemology, look what comes up. It says solder. And what's a solder? You sold metal to something. And welding. When you're welding, what, what do you have? A solder. Right, they call it. Okay. One who serves in the army for pay. For medieval sal. Sol. There is a soldier. Okay, and then you get to the coin thick solid metal, solid metal. Okay, another word for soldier is what solid, right? Firm, dense, compact. Okay, whole, figuratively sound, trustworthy, genuine. So these are the traits also what a soldier what possesses. No man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. And it's so easy for that to happen. Right? And I've been dealing with particular things as well. Just, it's silly things, but it's still things of the world. And these things could be used to what? To veer you from the truth. And when you go into that word entanglement. To mix up. State of confusion. Right? And that's what the enemy uses. That's what Satan, the devil uses, what? Confusion. Tricks. Right? Because he doesn't want you to be, what? Focused. Okay? That he may please him, whom have chosen him to be a soldier. Because he's chosen you. Right? To be, what? A soldier. You have not chosen him, but he chose you to be a soldier. Okay? So with knowing that we're soldiers for Yahweh Shai, now we're going to go to Deuteronomy. 
twenty and eight. Because this is something I have. I have witnessed this, you know, and I've had the experience of being yes, being around those that they don't really they don't possess faith. If they had faith, they weren't working on it, they weren't praying, none of that. You have to believe. We have to believe. Treat them to be twenty and eight. And here we go. Twenty and eight. Right? Start at seven. You know what? Let's start at eight. And the officers shall speak further unto the people if they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint hearted? So the fearfulness of Esau, why does that happen? Because of doubt. Right? But the main person that's supposed to be fearing is Yahweh Shai because he controls all things. Right? So the fearful and the faint hearted, if there be among you what? Fearful, faint hearted. Let him go and return unto his house. And this, this is the law of what? War. When you go out to battle. Right? Let his brethren's heart faint as well as his heart. So you may even be a faithful brother. But because that spirit is being pushed upon you continually, if you're not strong, Guess what? You're going to be in the same spirit. And this is why you have men pushing what the spirit of doubt. Uncertainty. Right? That's why you have men pushing that spirit. Okay? Lest his brethren's heart faint and woe is his heart. So it just takes one or two people say, I don't believe. Or keep guessing if, but, and maybe. There's no if, buts, and maybes. This is the truth. Yahabashai is real. He's coming back to what deliver his elect. Okay. So the scripts are very, very clear on what the battle we're in. If you don't believe, just just stay home. Because I've witnessed this. Too much spiritual leeches. Just stay home. Right? And you never know the next day you may be more what suitable to, 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 to go out or whatever. But again, even in war. With the armies, which they're known for doing, is all right. You you spend one time in one location. Then what, the captain, whoever may say, right, go back to your family. But it's like it's not a long it's not a long um time you be with them. Sometimes it just be with it could just be a week until you get the next call. Right, oh, we need you back out here again. We're calling you back out. So that's how it is with these words. And at times, yes, you, you obviously you have times where you recoup. Because you have to recoup. Guess what? We're, we're still in the flesh. But we're walking in the spirit. So there has to be times where obviously you recoup. But the main thing is what? Being a soldier for your Habashai. Certain men, they can only be soldiers. Excuse me. When they're around others. Right? The word soldier means solitary. So when the brothers are not around you, you got to have that same energy. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 2 and 3. Too many actors in this truth. Two and... Guess we're going to shut off on this. Go to Ecclesiastes 2 and... Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? 11. For the Lord is full of compassion... Always keep this in mind. And mercy, long suffering, very pitiful, and forgive of sins. Keep that in mind and save it from the time of affliction. Right? Woe be to the fearful hearts. So the, that first verse we read in Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and 11, it says, Save it from the time of affliction. Now we go to 12, but it says, Woe be to the fearful hearts. Because look what Yahweh has been doing. He's been doing great things, miracles. Just look. And faint hands. Okay. And a sinner that goes two ways. That goes what back in the world. Two ways. Double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Woe to him that is faint hearted. For he believeth not. So it's either you do believe or you don't believe. There's a difference when we get them times. And them little spurs of doubts. But you shouldn't be like every time you're doing a video. You shouldn't be like that. Because then you need to question. Well where is your faith? Do you really believe? 
because because another individual doesn't believe that doesn't bother that doesn't bother me that the scripture says so what if some did not believe should that make should that make the um the the mo the, the the thing of the most high of none effect hmm so no matter how much unbelief you try to push that's not going to affect the elect right and if it, if it is your is going to have to what remove them from your presence because that's an infection being lukewarm teaching another doctrine not believing that's it that's infectious Therefore he shall not be defended. So if you believe you're not going to be defended. You're going to be more likely to take the chip. One or two that have lost patience. Men lose patience. So they go right back into the world. They merge back into the world. And what will you do when the Lord Yahushua shall visit you? So they're saying about losing patience. Okay. Stay faithful to Yahushua no matter what. And until the next time. Shalom.